going to be cutting exasperated figure from closing stages there. How unhappy were you at the, the team in the, the last 10 minutes or so? Not the last 10 minutes, from the first minute onwards, I was unhappy with the team today. Uh, the unforced errors with the ball are unacceptable for, for players playing here. That, that performance today was, was a really poor one, I felt. It's a good goal. The goal was something that we worked on in trying to overload in the middle with a whip, and I thought the goal was well worked. Um, but outside of that, some of our play was so poor against a team that are obviously in a good place and well organised and came here today with a plan and, and they executed their plan better than us because we constantly turned the ball over and left ourselves vulnerable. Losing Rabi to, to injury, it doesn't look like a good one. It didn't help us, that's for sure, because we were few and far in our team of players like that today who could outplay and dribble with the ball. But actually the back three gave us some stability and some possession and it gave us some balance behind the ball and I thought those three played well and John Lundstrom in front and Jack but uh, in terms of a performance that's well below uh, the, the, what the players expect, I expect, the fans expect, we got away with one today and uh, I don't want to take anything away from Motherwell, I thought they were they came here and played well. I'm sure Stuart will take a lot from the game, but for me, that, that's well below what I'm looking for from this team. Did the squad do a factor? Does it take you know, an effort like that? Does that take too much out of the players? Yeah, but the, the schedule, I can't, um, I can't plan the schedule. The schedule is what it is. We played nine games in the first month of the season. We're playing seven now in 21. All of the injuries we've got have come through the, the game. So if we lose Rabi now for a long period of time, we lost Tom midweek, they've all come through the game, so it's unfortunate. But this club's been used to playing in Europe. It's not, you know, it did take a big effort against Bay. It's a big emotional effort, and then we're playing again today. But this, we know what the schedule is. We only made three changes, but the players coming in, the team on papers, it, I'm demanding more from them. Demanding more from all of us, I think. Um, if we go down that road of tiredness, it's a dangerous road because the schedule is not changing. Michael, Jack Butland uh, made a couple of great saves towards the end again. I think his performances so far this season has been outstanding, but is that not maybe an issue when you're coming in until October and probably the Rangers play the season as a goalkeeper? Listen, I think any goalkeeper in any team is allowed to make a save. I thought Liam Kelly made a couple of good saves for them as well, equal to what Jack did for us today. He came and took one in the air, which I thought was really important at the time he did. Um, but I think any goalie in any team is allowed to make a save. We just kept three clean sheets on the bounce, so that's a positive. When you're not playing well, he, he's needed more than what I'd want him to be needed, is the, is the way to answer that. Can you offer any details on Tondo and Tom Robinson days, please? Tom thought he had cramp, wanted to continue uh, in the game, but we didn't take a risk. The next day, he woke up and couldn't walk and he's gone for a scan, so Tom won't play this side of the international duty. Has a problem with his calf. Obviously, with the international break, it sounds like it's longer because obviously that's a two-week breakout, so he'll return with Todd, Nico, Danilo. Kieran might be back in the middle of the week to play at the weekend, but obviously he's lacking a bit of fitness. And then uh, Rabi today, we think that might be a bad one. He's took a blow on the outside of his knee. Um, I need to see it back, but just before coming in, that's the information I was given. I don't know if it's generally your style to be angry with the players, Michael, but were you there? Did, did you have a go at them? We've had honest words, yeah. Michael, you spoke before about taking the handbrake off and playing attractive attack in football. You heard the fans' response at the end of that game, having won the match and even they're so upset at the style of what they're seeing. We finished the game with five defenders with three defensive midfielders there. Is that the style that you want to be playing? Stevie, like, listen, we, I've just sat here and said I want us to play better football. The teams that I've had play better football than today, so I'm sitting here and being honest. The Seema and Roof come in today's game with niggles and we need them for Wednesday. So the reality is we add on the pitch what we add on it and we have to do certain things to get the result today because we weren't very good. So I'll leave it there with that. On Thursday night, we go on, we're over the moon with the second half and the way we play against the better team we play today. In all respect, that's not me, my view, that, uh, that better is a better team than my boy. That would be everybody's view, all right? So I under can't understand why at, at 10 o'clock Thursday, you walk off the pitch with that feeling and playing in that way and then turn in what we did today. So that's my question to the group, to me as well and my staff. That performance day wasn't good enough. 
but I don't want to go down that road because uh, we had to do things today and, and I've got more insight than anyone in the schedule we got coming up. We have a quarterfinal on Wednesday and it would have been reckless of me to put those two out on the pitch today with that in mind. Are you looking for more from the attacking players that come in over the summer? Um, again, your Dessers and Lamos getting a start today and not really, again, displaying a performance that's going to make you think that we should be in ahead of the guys who've been playing? Yeah, I think there's an opportunity for everybody, isn't there? So when you play, there's an opportunity. So you, you have to show, you have to take it at both sides of the game. Out of possession with your work ethic and in possession with your quality. I didn't think the service they got today was great at times. I felt early in the game, every time we made a forward pass, we gave it away, um, which doesn't help. But I'm looking for more from this group of players. They know that. I'm looking for more from me and my staff as well. I take no um, comfort from winning that game of football today. I don't take one bit of comfort from that. It wasn't, it wasn't a game that I enjoyed at all. I don't think the players enjoyed it either. Uh, it's a complete backward step after a forward step on Thursday. We've got two more games here this week. Um, the game on Wednesday is a really important one and then the game at the weekend is really important again. So the game's not going anywhere and we've got no players coming back. So the, it's down to me and that group of players to respond and show better than what we did today because today is nowhere near good enough. Nowhere near. Michael, in terms of that attack influence that you've said isn't there, how does it get there? Does this busy schedule help you in the fact that you just keep playing and just trying to play your way to some form or is there something that just has to be done internally to... Well, listen, the, the goal was really good play. If you watch the goal back, the combination play between them was really good play. So in that sense, in that moment, they, they've shown they're more than capable. At the end of the game, we get a 4v2, 3v2. We get a 2v1 in the first half. We just got to miss a player with pass. So we're getting in the right areas and the quality's not been good enough. The boys in the dressing room next door, they know that as well. You know, they know that. They, they're frustrated with themselves. And, the, uh, the only thing you have as a coach and player is the next game. The next game's a quarter final, which is hugely important. But there's a massive warning sign around today's performance. Today's performance was nowhere near good enough. Yeah. Michael, do you feel you have the right quality of players to deliver the signs of performances you're looking for and to compete for trophies this season? Well, if you have a look at the list of the players that are unavailable, you would say the sooner they got back, the better to support the ones that are there. So I think we have a squad that's capable of more than what we showed today. Thanks, guys. Sorry,